Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks. In today's video, we're taking a look at two strong buy green energy stocks for 2022. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're looking at two stocks to consider if you're wanting to add some green energy to your portfolio this year. Now, both of these stocks are Canadian for some added geographical diversification, and on top of that, they also pay a dividend. So we're gonna take a look at these companies, what it is that they do, and what the analysts are predicting for their stock's future. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Okay, getting right into these two green energy stocks. First up today is a company called Northland Power. Their stock trades under the ticker NPIFF and is traded over the counter, currently priced at $29.24 per share. Now their stock has been on a downward trend this past year, as you could see on the chart, but analysts are feeling optimistic. So this could be a good one to look for a bottom on, get in on that dip and hold for that longer term recovery. Northland Power is a leading global power producer dedicated to helping the clean energy transition, and they've had over 30 years of success developing, constructing, and operating power projects across a range of technologies. They provide clean and green energy in North America, Latin America, Asia, and Europe. They strongly focus on offshore wind power in Asia and Europe. Their company's facilities use wind, solar, natural gas, and other renewable energies to produce electricity. They're focused on balancing long-term growth with near-term cash flow. In the upcoming years, they want to develop onshore renewable projects with shorter incubation periods, and in the longer term, from 2026 to 2030, they're focusing on accelerating growth, with offshore wind driving significant growth in capacity and cash flow. And that offshore wind has already been accelerating growth. Back in 2014, wind power didn't contribute to their results at all, but by 2020, it is now contributing 60% of their adjusted EBITDA. That total EBITDA for 2021 is expected to come in at 1.1 to 1.2 billion with free cash flow of $1.30 to $1.50 per share. The Northland Power stock is currently rated a strong buy from analysts with seven buy ratings and two holds. Their average price target comes in at $37.31 per share, which would be an upside potential of 27% for this next year. On the low end, we do have a hold rating from a couple months ago, which would still be an upside of 17%. On the high end, we have a buy rating from Raymond James at over $42, which would be growth potential of 46%. Second on our list today is a larger company that you're more likely to have heard of and does trade here on the New York Stock Exchange. That is Suncor. Their stock trades under the ticker SU, currently priced at $25.81 per share and pays a quarterly dividend with a current dividend yield of just above 3%. Suncor is an integrated company that produces and refines oils and also owns and operates four wind power facilities. They work with oil sands, exploration and production, refining, low carbon power, and fuels. With over 50 years of expertise in hydrogen, they've had 1.438 million liters of renewable fuels blended. They're also working on Canada's Electric Highway, which is a coast-to-coast -coast electric vehicle fast charging network currently spanning 57 Petro-Canada gas stations. Their strategy is to be Canada's leading energy company by growing their business in low greenhouse gas fuels, electricity, and hydrogen, while sustaining and optimizing their existing hydrocarbon business and transforming their greenhouse gas footprint. Their goal is to be net zero by 2050 and reduce their annual emissions by 10 megatons across their value chain by 2030. To achieve this, they're investing $535 million into developing next generation processes and using artificial intelligence, machine learning, advanced analytics, and more to help harness the digital transformation. The Suncor Energy stock does come in as a strong buy with 13 analyst ratings, coming down to 11 buy ratings and just two holds. The average price target comes in at $32.72 per share for an upside potential of nearly 27%. On the low end, we do have a buy rating that currently has a downside of 14% as that price target has already been exceeded. On the higher end, our most recent rating comes in at $42 from JP Morgan, which would be an upside potential of 63%. 
So there we have two strong buy green energy companies, both Canadian and both paying a dividend. Now you guys know I always love hearing from you, so let me know what your thoughts on these two companies and some of your other favorite green energy stocks out there. Of course, these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock and are just meant for information and entertainment purposes. Please make sure you're always doing your own research and due diligence before making any investment decision. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you back here next time.